The new HitFilm Pro is now out, and with it some great new and updated features. Let's dive in. Before we start, I just wanted to quickly address the way that HitFilm is constantly going under naming revisions. It was once called HitFilm Ultimate, then it moved into numbered systems with HitFilm 3 and 4 Pro, then to year of release as with HitFilm Pro 2017, and now they're just scrapping the ending altogether, just calling it HitFilm Pro. You can think of it as HitFilm 6 Pro or HitFilm Pro 2018. Either way, it's the latest and greatest annual release of HitFilm. Let's overview some of its greatest features. The first thing I loved about the new HitFilm Pro is the ability to keyframe effects and controls in the editing timeline. In previous versions of HitFilm, you had to create composite shots and keyframe there, and it could be tedious for animating simple things. Now they've added an extra timeline window that looks similar to the keyframing workspace in a composite shot. You can add keyframes for just about any effect in the editor now. Of course, this doesn't replace composite shots as more complicated 3D visual effects and anything involving two or more video layers is easier to work with in composite shots. But this editor timeline keyframing will definitely prove useful for doing simple keyframing of things like transform and basic effects. The new HitFilm also adds a puppet tool. It's a drag and drop effect that you drop onto your video. It makes a tessellation map from your layer and allows you to add control points, which, when switching to animate mode, you can move independent of one another and warp your video in a natural style. It also has a better text extrusion effect. Whereas the previous 3D extrusion effect kept the layer as a 2D plane, the new 3D text effects for extrusion and bezel actually create a 3D object that interacts properly with its environment. This version of HitFilm also puts a large focus on 360 degree video, with a new 360 degree viewing panel and a ton of 360 degree compatible effects. And while I haven't actually used these personally, there are new behaviour effects for animating text and 2D objects more naturally and efficiently. They've also updated the playback resolution and quality settings, which I have mixed feelings about, but I'll talk about that in more detail probably in an upcoming video. Anyway, that pretty much concludes this short video. The features I mentioned in this video are, of course, only a very small portion of all of the upgrades in the new version. You can check out the updated HitFilm site, or HitFilm's live Q&A, or Mike Miller's more in-depth first look, if you want more detail on the update or info on how the effects work in practice. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Stay shiny. Bye!